Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff from Lutheran Church of the Resurrection here in Marion. Thanks for joining me for our Lenten uh, conversation around the Gospel of Luke and the Acts of the Apostles. We're using our uh, daily reading. Today is Friday, March the 26th, and we are in Acts chapter 22. Well, uh, Paul is once again in trouble, and uh, he is saved uh, uh, by a Roman uh, soldier that comes and kind of bails him out. And now Paul um, wants to address uh, the people. And it is the Roman who says, okay, that's fine. And so Paul begins to talk to the people about his tale. And uh, first uh, we get uh, his history, that he was a persecutor of the church. And if you don't believe him, you can go ask the high priest themselves. They'll Remember who Paul was, that he was there as Stephen, the first martyr, uh, was killed. Paul was there holding the coats. Well, then Paul talks about his experience with the risen Jesus, his conversion on the road to Emmaus. And this is a retelling of what Paul has already uh, uh, been told to us about Paul, rather, in Acts 9. Now, Paul, in his own words, is kind of describing what happened it's a little bit different than Acts 9, but it's the same basic story. And the people are kind of with Paul. Finally, Paul talks about being in the temple and having kind of a, a vision while he's in prayer. And this too is okay. But now here's what's interesting. What causes concern, what causes a near riot once again, is Paul's insistence that God has instructed him to go to the Gentiles, that God is now going to be at work outside of the people of Israel into the whole world. If you remember, this is the same thing that got Jesus in trouble. Um, in Nazareth, at his first sermon, he was received well at first, and then he began to say, you know, remember in olden days, there were lots of lepers, but it was only uh, name in the Syrian that was healed. There were lots of widows that were in trouble, but only the, the foreigner was given relief. And it was this idea that God might be concerned with those outside of Israel that caused such consternation that they wanted to kill Jesus. Well, here as well, this brings a great reproach to Paul. And once again, he is in big trouble. Well, we have this great scene where uh, the, the Roman Tribune uh, kind of pulls Paul out of danger. And uh, they're about to, to flog Paul. That was the Roman way. Is uh, They get to the truth by uh, uh, interrogation through torture. And as they're about to flog Paul, Paul plays the Roman trump card. Is it lawful for you to do this to me, a Roman? And there's a great stepping back by all those involved because, no, it's not. And then again, there's a conversation where the tribune says, you know, I paid for my Roman citizenship. Paul says, no, I was born a Roman. Once again, this question between how is it that the church might use the empire to be about its work? It's an interesting conversation that Luke has us enter into as Paul is embroiled in the midst of this controversy. God bless you.